It's it's like really like things don't happen to you, they happen for you. Mm. That's mm. life. Everything is life. It happens for you. Everything is for your greatest good. Jay-Z and Beyonce have always gone back and forth, giving us hints of Jay's infidelity, but he has finally admitted to it himself. We all remember Beyonce's iconic album Lemonade and how it opened up an entire can of worms, firing off speculations of Jay-Z cheating on his wife throughout their marriage. But still inside me coiled deep was the need to know, are you cheating, cheating on me? Are you cheating on me? But we may have all missed a key detail. Jay-Z had admitted to the cheating publicly himself, but we weren't paying attention to it back then. Now it has resurfaced and opened up old wounds. Even though Beyonce has made it pretty clear in her latest album that her husband cheated on her, we didn't really need her to confirm it for us, because Jay-Z had himself confessed to the crime way before we all realized, and people are just picking up on it. This means that he has finally opened up about his cheating scandal. Jay-Z and David Letterman bonded over the fact that they had both cheated on their wives on the comedian's Netflix show, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction with David Letterman. The 48-year-old rapper, whose legal name is Sean Corey Carter, opened up about not having the emotional tools that it takes to keep my family together in his interview that dropped years ago. Much like you, Jay-Z told the former Late Night Show host, I have a beautiful wife who was understanding and who knew I'm not the worst of what I've done. The usually tight-lipped performer also talked about other sensitive topics, like the emotional moment his mother came out to him and finally letting go of his anger about his father's abandonment. Letterman tiptoed into the topic of their shared experience in cheating on their wives by starting off reassuring the audience that both of the men were in fact still married. We have here married people with families, he said, posing it as a question, but meaning it more as a statement of fact. He then added more declaringly, families, I think it's safe to say, are pretty much trouble free. After a while, he circled back around to the topic that's been on everyone's minds since the infamous incident where Solange Knowles, Beyonce's sister, was caught on an elevator surveillance camera beating Jay-Z at a Met Gala after party in May of 2014. You and I have one other thing in common, and I have to be cautious how I articulate this, Letterman said, wading into the murky waters of discussing their infidelities. I did something that I had no business doing, and I regret it, and since then I have tried to acknowledge that mistake and be a better person." Letterman was referring to having to own up to cheating on his wife, Regina Lasco, in 2009, after someone tried to blackmail him with the information that he had slept with women on his staff, including his former longtime assistant, Stephanie Burkett. Letterman, not going into all of those details on his own show, continued to focus on his worries related to his family life at the time his misdeeds came to light, while being careful not to make any admissions on Jay-Z's behalf. At the time, the pain that I caused myself was the fear that I had blown up my family, he said. I never talked to a person who had been in that situation, and I'm wondering if this rings a bell with you. Jay-Z admitted, again, that what the world thought was pretty much confessed through Beyonce's Lemonade album was true. He first put the rumors to rest by saying publicly that he'd cheated in November with the New York Times. We did the hard work of going to therapy, Jay-Z said, talking about how Beyonce, 36, helped him through that low point in his life. We love each other, so we really put in the work for years. He went on to say that he was lacking the tools necessary to properly show his emotions to his wife. For a lot of us, especially where I grew up and men in general, we don't have emotional cues from when we were young. Our emotional cue is, be a man, don't cry, he said. He then explained that his track, Song Cry, was written about his inability to convey what he was feeling and his literal inability to shed tears. In it, he raps, 
I can't see them coming down my eyes, so I gotta make the song cry. It was my way of saying I want to cry, I want to be open, Jay-Z said. He didn't go as far as to outright say it, but the implication was his inability to truly open up to Beyonce led him to stray from their relationship physically. This admission means that the music mogul has only now finally declared publicly what the public has been certain of for so long, he said, to provide hope for others who have lost their way and lost hope, so they might instead think, let me stick with this and come through the other side. I see how that looks. We didn't see that. All we saw is people fleeing, Jay-Z said. We just see people give up. The divorce rate is 50%. We never see people who say, okay, let's work through this. I love you. I love my family. He added, I like to believe we're in a better place today. I'm proud of the father and the husband that I am today. When this interview aired on Netflix initially, it didn't pick up as much heat and surprisingly flew under the radar. It has taken people years to figure out what was actually being talked about, and now that it has, people are not holding back from reminding Jay-Z what he did. This news was everywhere on social media, where people flocked to share their views on it. This user tweeted, I get mad every time I remember Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce. Another user tried to contextualize the entire scenario, adding, They are not like Beyonce and Jay-Z. Beyonce decided to stay for the sake of her children and got cheated on once. Do you know what once means? It is different from multiple. A relationship where one individual continues to cheat and the other forgives is not goals. If it wasn't for Beyonce, Jay-Z would be just like Diddy, a forgotten hip-hop billionaire. Beyonce can actually end Jay-Z. That cheating story during Lemonade tainted his image. He was about to be dust. But because she didn't divorce him, he got saved, said this Beyonce stan. Beyonce hinted at husband Jay-Z's cheating scandal and his infamous lift fight with her sister Solange in candid songs on her new album Renaissance. The singer, 40, released her long-awaited seventh studio album titled Renaissance this year, much to the surprise of her fanbase, who weren't expecting it at all. In a series of songs, the mother of three referenced her 21-year relationship with rapper Jay-Z as she mused that nobody's perfect and insisted that they don't need the world's acceptance. Beyonce first spoke publicly about her husband's infidelity in her 2016 visual album Lemonade, referencing the other woman as Becky with the good hair. Appearing to reference the ongoing scrutiny surrounding her relationship, Beyoncé sings in Renaissance track Plastic on the Sofa, We don't need the world's acceptance. They're too hard on me. They're too hard on you, boy. She also sings, Boy, I know you can't help but to be yourself around me. Yourself around me. And I know nobody's perfect, so I'll let you be. I'll let you be. It's the way that you wear your emotions on both of your sleeves, till the face you make when I tell you that I had to leave. The singer also seems confident that Jay-Z won't be repeating his antics, belting out, I'm one of one, I'm number one, I'm the only one. Don't even waste your time trying to compete with me. No one else in this world can think like me. I'm twisted, contradicted, keep him addicted. Beyonce also references her husband's scandal with her sister Solange. In 2014, Solange was filmed attacking Jay-Z in an elevator at the Met Gala, with her, Beyonce, and her husband releasing a joint statement at the time stressing it was a private family matter. However, later in the year, she referenced in a remix of her single, Flawless, and we could go around and get some good karma, but no. We escalate up in this bitch like elevators. Of course, sometimes shit go down when it's a billion dollars on an elevator. She has now appeared to reference the scandal again in new single Cozy, singing, She's a god, she's a hero, she survived all she'd been through, 
confident and she lethal. Might I suggest you don't fuck with my sis because she comfortable, comfortable in my skin, cozy with who I am. Renaissance has achieved widespread critical acclaim, with critics hailing the album a glorious celebration of the dance floor. The Times awards the album four stars, noting all the songs add up to a bold, frequently seductive piece of work, varied, complex, and joyful, which jumps from the pop funk of Cuff It to the soul of Plastic Off the Sofa, while taking in some pretty weird, futuristic